Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going, everybody? I picked up this uh, Matchbox 9 pack. These things sold out pretty quickly. Uh, the new Matchbox 5 packs are coming with the exclusive car in the corner here, and then the matching artwork for that car will be in this corner. So you will see it like this. Pretty cool. This is the Ford Ranchero, and it's so nice to see it in a different color. The last one we got of the Ranchero, Ranchero was the uh, light blue. So it's pretty nice to see it in the uh, orange color as an exclusive. Let's get him out. I already sliced the side there, so I wouldn't have any trouble getting him out of the package. Let's go right to the Ranchero and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. This is pretty nice. Let me uh, move the camera a little bit. There we go. It looks pretty, pretty nice. A nice metallic orange color. I'm gonna move this to the side just to get it out of the way for a second. There we go. Really, really nice looking. There you see the name Ranchero, construction, and it says Matchbox Diecast Construction Company. <laughs> it doesn't say the word company, but die matchbox up there then die cast and construction right there it is a two-door car of course it does have a bench seat in there we do have a left side driver with a steering wheel there no mirrors on the side we do have the windshield wipers molded right in the uh, metal this time right in the die cast right by the vents there really cool a really nice hood on this one with a little scoop and it's nicely outlined we do have a plastic grill in the front with the lights also in plastic nice hubcaps on this one it's so beautiful it does have a white it's not the light it is a white stripe that goes around comes all the way around nothing on the door and then it keeps going this way pretty pretty nice it looks really nice we do have the handles painted over in silver and the little keyhole right there painted in silver as well the interior looks like it's a silver color and so is, so is the bed and the base is a little bit more like a white, like a cream, probably like a cream color. It's a 1961 Ford Falcon Ranchero Matchbox logo right there. We do have the little elephant, our little elephant friend right there for Made in Thailand. Very, very nice. This one is stamped P45. There's a full view of the base. Let me back off a little bit so you can get everything in there. There we go. There's the base. We do have exhaust on the left back side or the left side of the back there. We do have what looks like access to the gasoline tank right there. And then we do have a, a nice uh, tailgate with a little handle right there. It doesn't open or anything. We do have the lights molded really nicely there. Very cool casted in the die cast, but no extra colors for the lights. We do, have, we do have the uh, bumper with the license plate spot right there, but no, no numbers or letters for the license plate. We do see the exhaust showing on the left side, like I said. Very nice. Beautiful little old Ranchero from 61, 1961. A little slight blue tint to the windshield and the glass in the back as well. Really nice 61 Ford Falcon Ranchero P45. Beautiful. So this is the exclusive in this nine pack. There's a few different packs. I did buy one the other day that I showed you guys. If you want to see that one, you can find it in one of my past videos. And I'm hoping to pick up probably some more of the new ones as they as they uh, stock them up again in in uh, the stores there. I did pick it up at Target stores, but they ran out quickly. I went back and they didn't have any more. I was thinking of picking up another one. Uh, let's get some of the cars out of here. So the 9-pack comes with this 2016 Mazda CX-5. And this one is so beautiful. Really, really nice looking Mazda. The CX-5. There we go. Sorry about the out of focus there for a second. Plastic uh, spoiler on the bottom there. And what looks like a different color than the base. The base is more like a black color. This is part of the wheel well and probably the interior is connected to it. It looks like the same uh, color for the interior. Possibly, I don't know, maybe just, maybe it's just connected to these uh, wheel wells or fenders there. 
that part that goes around the fender. This one does have the license plate in front, Mazda, the Mazda name on the plate. We do have some really nice lights and amber, amber color, black, silver, white. A lot of depth to the lights. We do have the uh, grill painted in silver with the black underneath, and we do have the Mazda badge. A couple of little lights in silver there for the fog lights, really cool. A lot of details on this Mazda. Four door car, handles are painted over in black. We do have the windshield wipers, look at that, right there molded on the glass. Not on the uh, die cast like the, uh, like the Ranchero, what a difference, right? Sometimes they come on the glass, sometimes on the actual die cast body. And this one does have little roof racks, a little uh, antenna up here, and it does have a little sunroof. Really nice five spokes. Looks like five spokes. Really nice five spokes. In chrome, we do have the Mazda name on the, on the plate in the back as well. Very cool. And we do have a little windshield wiper on the back window. That's pretty cool. CX-5 name right there. And beautiful lights here on the back with the badge, Mazda badge right in the middle. The exhaust is showing on the bottom one, one pipe on each side. Black bumper. That's funny that the front bumper is, or it's like a spoiler slash bumper uh, in silver there. The back is all black. And here's the base, 2016 Mazda CX-5. We do have our little elephant friend there. You can see how the exhaust comes all the way down, then splits into two pipes. Copyright 2017, made in Thailand, also stamped P45. There's our little elephant again. Very nice, beautiful car. Let's grab another one. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, this one comes with a nice tow hook there. Rannick Equipment. Says Nissan Junior up here. Raising the bar in excellence. We do have the caution stripes, black and orange. Up here, unit number two. The back end, ooh, a lot of nice casted details. No colors, but nice, nice uh, hinges and lights and all that. Pretty cool, we have an orange plastic bed in there. Some blue tint to the glass in the back. And we do have the little corner windows and the windshield also tinted in blue. There are no windshield wipers on this one, not even on the die cast and not on the glass at all. Do have a little badge in the front, little vents on the hood there. Little spot for an antenna in the front there. The black uh, handles on the doors. The keyholes are painted in white. And we see all those nice uh, little colors. And we do have little lights in the front there in the front fenders. And no lights towards the back. We do have some mud flaps. Oh no, that's just a license plate. We do have the mud flaps here in the black plastic. This part here is just a license plate. Pretty neat. It even simulates to have, like if it had a uh, spare tire hanging underneath there. Made in Thailand. Copyright 2018 Mattel, a 1962 Nissan Junior pickup truck with the little elephant over here in the corner. That is pretty cool. Pretty nice, pretty nice little Nissan, a really old Nissan truck. The front is a blacked out grill. It does have the blacked out grill with the bumper in plastic. The lights also in black and just plastic. Little spin. Let's back off a little so we can see a better, <clears throat> a better take on the whole car or the whole pickup truck. Maybe a little closer, there we go. Nice hubcaps on this one. We see the orange, orange uh, interior, left side driver. Steering wheel right there on the left. We do have like the black base showing through for the floor floorboards inside the, uh, the cab there. And there are no mirrors on the side. No side view mirrors. Really, really cool. It has like a bar up here, like a separate bar. Possibly two little lights on the top there. Very nice. So this one compared to the Ranchero. Here we go. Ford Ranchero, Nissan Junior, pickup truck. Big difference. The Nissan looks really tall, even though it's a small truck as well. Pretty cool. I wonder if they're the same uh, scale. I'm not sure if they they are. It could be. Just the Nissan, I thought it would be smaller next to the Ranchero. So that's the only thing that 
kind of like baffling so it might not they might not be the same scale and the cx5 does it have a scale written on there i don't see it let's see how he looks next to the nissan so we have a mazda and a nissan here he's much wider much bulkier and i don't know maybe the scale looks pretty close but could be that it's off a little bit i don't know not sure comparing the nissan junior to a little four-door mazda hard to tell just want to say that maybe these are not all the same scale to me just to my plain eye i don't know what do you guys think doesn't seem to match and then we have let's see what else we have i have to turn this over so i can get them all out there we go let's pop them all out at once and uh you can see i'm popping them all out of here All right, got them all out. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? Let's see. This one looks really cool. Let's see what it says on the base here. A 1933 Plymouth. Wow. Made in Thailand. Matchbox logo all the way on top. A 33 Plymouth. Copyright 2017 on this one. Check out the color. It's a nice glossy brick red. And we do have some details here. A little trim work or pinstriping. We do have four doors with the handles painted over in silver. Spare tire in black. Looks like we have only, what is that, only one light? That's the light. It looks like it's only on one side. Not sure that it's a light. Two lights right here on the front fenders. We do have the nice grill. Little badge down there, some details really look cool. Looks like we have some something simulating like there's some vents there. Very cool. So we have one, two, three windows on the sides and then the back window and the windshield in front. Nice dashboard, left side driver, big bench seat in there in black and there's a seat in the back as well. Hard to see, but there is a seat. The glass is pretty clear. If you put some light in there, you'll be able to see better. We do have a support beam in in there in the back. Really nice, really nice. Look at the bumper. The old school vintage looking bumpers on this one. A 33 Plymouth. So let's put him back there. And what else do we have? This one comes with another, kind of like uh, what the Nissan Junior has on here. The Rannick equipment livery and this one says ground grinder unit five is that the name the ground grinder could be look at all the tires in this one four in the back two in the front so we have six tires and yeah it says ground grinder ground grinder back here really cool we do have the elephant p45 stamp there 2012 motel is the copyright made in thailand on this part right here wow they had to spread out all the markings along along the way here. This is pretty cool, look at that. The ground grinder. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome looking vehicle. That's pretty cool. We have a couple of construction vehicles here. And instead of another construction vehicle, they gave us this one here, a Segundo Fire, established 1917, and it says 100 years of excellence 100 years of excellence okay i could read all that that was hard hard to see there for a second the segundo fire department city of el segundo utility 31 and then it says what does it say there courtesy and service i think it says yeah i think so courtesy and service the gate is all red in the back we do have the pipes on the bottom showing silver uh, bumper the red uh, background with the white stripe and the gold looks really cool. Black handles on the doors. It is a four-door vehicle with the gate in the back, number five. And then we have the silver plastic piece there and the red die cast showing through. A nice light bar on top. Really big mirrors on the side. And we can see the interior. Two big giant bucket seats in there. 
couple of seat divided seats in the back there. It looks like they have a console in the middle for drinks on the back as well. Very cool silver grill. Do have the little badge behind this battering ram here or that big giant bumper. It's a 2015 Ram made in Thailand, copyright 2015, P45. See the pipes heading towards the back, splitting one this way and one this way. Very nice, very cool details. Look at that. Nice exhaust showing there. Nice details on this fire truck. Very cool. And we also have this car right here that comes in the five pack, which is a really beautiful uh, what do we call this? What is this? Oh, hair is everywhere. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And this one says Defender on there. Right in front. The name Defender. Very cool lights. We do have the Land Rover badge right there. Big bumper here in gray. Or is this kind of like a gray color, silverish. Little wheel. Spare tire all covered up. We do have the lights in the back. The name Defender right there and the Land Rover uh, badge right there. This one does have a wiper hidden right there on the glass. Little antenna on top. Let me move back a little bit so you can see that. Very nice. Only two doors on this uh, Land Rover Defender. Really cool top. Look at that. Mirrors on the side. Looks like we have the windshield wipers molded right in the glass. A couple of vents also molded in the glass. Little vents on the bottom there. Nice hood, but nice details on the hood. Really cool lights. I like those lights. They look like eyes or something. Cool rugged tires on this one. Nice wheels in chrome. Wow, look at this detail here. So cool. All around the wheel wells, the bumper, it's all connected. Some trim on the bottom there. The handles are painted over in that green, metallic green color. It is a really nice color, and it combines so well with the black and this dark gray or dark silver. This might be the silver right down here. Looks more like silver here. This looks more like a gray. Uh, 2020 Land Rover Defender. That's so cool. Copyright 2020 with the uh, P45 and the little elephant made in Thailand. What a beautiful little Land Rover Defender. This one's a beauty. Really nice. Looks good all around. We can't see inside. They did do those uh, glasses, uh, those uh, windshield and glass all around in really dark, really dark colors. Hard to see in there. I don't think you can even see anything in there. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have an interior. Who knows? Kind of hard to see there through the sides. Could be that they eliminated the interior for this and they didn't have to do the extra tooling for the mold. But uh, very nice. Very nice. Really cool set so far. And the last one in the set. Oh, wow. Look at the colors on this car. Metallic light blue with a red interior, a nice chrome floorboard on the driver's side. The rest are red, and it is a left side driver. No mirrors on the side. We do have the little windshield wipers on the glass. There are no sun visors, and there is no rear view mirror, but it looks pretty nice. Nice little details on the dashboard. I can see like a little radio, the glove compartment with a little knob. Pretty cool. The chrome floorboard has the pedals. For the gas and the brake, very nice. Do have some trim work on the side. This looks like, I don't know, a badge or a gas tank? No, it's, might be a little light there for when you get off and you can see where you're going. I don't know. We do have, a, looks like a little ornament on the back there and little badge or something like that and then a little key, keyhole. And this here looks like it might be the exhaust. I'm not sure, is it just decoration? The exhaust might be these smaller ones on the sides there. Yeah, I think that's more likely. Yeah, you can see the curve there. These might be lights for the reverse lights. I don't know, because it has three lights on the side here, three on this side. Those might just be bullet bullet decorations, like the bumpers. The old days. Oh, yeah, here you see them in the front as well. I don't know. They may have lights in there, but a couple of bullets. Not the pointy ones, but the black cut bullets with the... Uh, Lights painted in here on the front, very nice. On the back, I don't know, they didn't paint the lights in, only on the front end. We do have like the badge and the hood ornament, chrome, oh wow, chrome grill, chrome bumper, just like these old cars had, and the chrome bu uh, bumper back here with the bullets, really cool. This one looks really nice. What is the name of this car, I forget. 1953 Buick Skylark. 
Man, when I think of a Buick Skylark, I don't picture this one. This is an oldie. So cool. Wow, 53. From the 50s, guys. Here's one from the 50s. Happy days. <laughs> Sunday, Monday. Happy day. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. All right, let's line them up. Let's see what we got in the nine pack. These are pretty cool. Here's the exclusive. Ranchero. And then we got the Nissan out. We got the C x5 and did we miss this one? Oh man i think we missed this one i didn't show this one yet a mercedes i was getting ready to say goodbye but look at this I still have a mercedes to go mercedes amg gt 63s a really long uh long name on this one copyright 2019 motel man what a nice mercedes benz amg gt look at the big giant badge in the front Nice Mercedes badge. Beautiful lights. Nice grill showing there. A smaller badge right there on top. And we see the grill showing here. Cool details in the front. Looks nice. Look at that long hood. Big windshield wipers. Big mirrors on the side. We do have the sunroof. Back end has nice details as well. The AMG. Let me cover up the light a little bit. Kind of hard to see. AMG logo right there on the left. It's hard to see. The lights are bouncing off. GT and that number right there. What was that? GT63 and the letter S. Nice lights there. Very cool. We do have the little exhaust showing on each side. Look at that. Splits down here. and There you go. Towards the back. Same tires, same, I mean, same size tires all around. And we do have the black chrome, I think. Which looks really cool. Very nice. This is a black metallic color that has like silver flakes in it. Looks really nice. Really beautiful. Clean Mercedes Benz. Four door vehicle. The handles are painted over. All the windows are rolled up, so everything is a little harder to see in there. But we do have the giant bucket seats with the uh, big headrest. Left side driver, dark color inside and dark color on the outside with the uh, silver base or the grayish color base. Really nice tires for our wheels for this uh, vehicle. Looks really good. Black chrome. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, we can line them up now, guys. Let's see. We got the Mercedes right there, Ranchero, the Nissan, the, uh, the, the uh, Ram, the Honda. The Plymouth, the Defender, the Buick Skylark, and the Ground Grinder right there. What a nice nine pack. Really like this one. Really fun to uh, to collect these nine packs with their exclusive cars. I'm going to show you the artwork real quick that comes on the pack. There you go. With the Ford Falcon right there. Ford Falcon. Uh, what is the name again? Ford Falcon Ranchero. Ford Falcon Ranchero. There we go. So cool. Ford Falcon Ranchero. Beautiful. Beautiful graphics on there. I love that. It looks so cool. And we have the uh, badges here on the side. General Motors, Mazda, Land Rover, Ram, Nissan. And then the uh, Matchbox model. And here's the back. There's a UPC just in case you need that for anything. And... There are no pictures on the back, just a bunch of information. So there you go. And what are the what's the year of copyright? 2021, all the way on top here. 2021 is the copyright, but this is a 2022 release. Unless they came late, because we have been having a lot of late deliveries on some of the items. But what a beauty! I love that Ranchero right there, that exclusive. And this Nissan is so cool. All of them are cool. I love them all. Which one's your favorite, guys? Let me know which one was your favorite. And what's your favorite in a Matchbox color? What do you like best? Do you like the orange cars, the red cars, the green ones, the blue ones, the black ones, the white ones? Let me know what's your favorite color in a Matchbox. Or what is your favorite uh, brand to collect? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. 
And uh, don't forget, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. It's very important that you subscribe. And I appreciate your support, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.